Do you remember this pixel look for the game? Uh, not anymore. Hi, I'm Thomas and I'm making a game about a mouse and her friends going on an adventure. Welcome! So, I made some decisions. When I was researching some other pixel kinda look games, I noticed that almost everyone used an orthographic camera. And not without any reason. One of them is when the camera comes closer to the object, the pixelization effect will be smaller. This can be noticed when Thomas was using the computer. So, I changed some scenes to see how it looked and I like it. Some of you have noticed that my pixel shader is not pixel perfect and you are right. I was also annoyed by it. So once again I disable it to see how it look and you know what happened? Yeah, I like it. The only reason why I was using the effect of pixelization is that I was not confident about my models. I was thinking that they look awful and when the pixel comes in, it can hide their imperfections. But now I think it's okay. It's my first game, not everything can be perfect, so the pixel shader go bye bye. And I wanna clear something. Pixel shader that I was using is not the only way to get this effect. I will link in the description tutorial for a better effect and this is the one which a short hike used. I also changed the tune shader. I was saying that I will make one, but honestly, I don't wanna spend time on that. So I downloaded Autumn from Unity Asset Store. It's free and has better lighting than my per one, so I will keep it. In the previous video I was saying that I want to change assets to my own, but I don't want to break my streets. So I just retextured them in the color part that I used for everything. I also remade my home scene to fit the isometric look of the game. When I was adding some posters to the wall, I used Dali to generate them. Now you can see how it tries to make a photo of the parents of Tom House, but it didn't work well. <laughs> So I made a scene in Blender, add some friends and made some photos of that. Also made an animation of sitting on a chair. Do you like the new room? Would you add anything to it? Let me know in the comments. And if you watched my previous episode, you saw how I was struggling with making the staircase model. Yeah, I must have made this too, so don't be surprised if it will look completely different. But I left it for later, like all my responsibilities. <laughs> And maybe you notice that my interaction icons get elaborate. It kinda looks like it's from a night in the woods, but really, I don't care, I like it. Maybe I will change it in the future. The most time between these devlogs I was spending on writing a story. Fun fact, Dali AI was not the only one that I used when making this game. Say hello to my friend ChatGPT. I used it for a story. So, I had a story in my mind, some plot twists like events that I want to happen and I tell them to ChatGPT to see how it can connect it. I can't show you how it looks because of spoilers of course, but some ideas were good enough to take them. So now I have a plan and I need to write it all down again and call me. I I just want to say that if you haven't tried ChatGPT yet, give it a try. It's so good. And this is kinda scary, like I've seen too many movies, I know how it ends. Anyway, back to my game. I tried to draw the blueprint of a vixen home in Photoshop. This will be the place where one of the most important actions in the game will happen. I don't want to overdo it, so I will keep it simple to not add more jobs to myself. Places some rooms, add some furniture and I think it's good. Now a little bit of concept art of an outside look at the house. As you see, I'm not good at it, but I I don't care. I move on to prototyping this in Unity and I realize something. I can't do this with isometric camera, the walls will block the view. Of course I can make a shader like in The Sims 4 that when you look from some angles some walls will disappear but you know me already. It's too much work and I don't even know where to start. So I start researching how it's done in other games with a similar style. I look for a tuning because that's what first came to my mind. By the way, I never played this game so I must try it in the future. And after watching some gameplay, I found my solution. I have to divide the house into rooms. I made a simple model in a blender to test this out. Open Unity and once again start prototyping, but only this room to room system. So when the player walks through the door, he activates a trigger that fades out the camera for a moment, then teleports the player to another location change the camera to the one at that location and the camera goes back. A logic I made using an action list in Adventure Creator, because as you may know, if you watched my previous episode, I don't know how to code. Surprisingly, everything worked, so now I can build some rooms that I planned before. I start with making an entry room. I added the floor, walls and some additional floor to exit this room in two ways, one into the house, the other to the exit. Next I made some doors, a small shoe rack, a painting, clothes hanger, a mirror and that's it. I added another larger unfinished room. While testing the room to room system a problem came up. 
The camera that Adventure Creator offers is blocking me. When I switch the camera from one that is stable to one that needs to move, everything crashes and the camera flies to place where there isn't even a room. For now, I change the other camera to stable too. I also test the key system, so you must find a key before you can open the doors. It was very simple and I made it by using a variable. When you try to open the door, action will check if the variable is key is true and if so it will start the animation of opening doors and if is key is false it will play dialog. The variable will change to true if you will search the jackets. Simple as that. Back to the camera problem. I want to try scene machine. I found out that adventure creator supports it so I decided to implement it. After playing with it for a while I managed to work it out. So now everything works as it should. I will leave the rest of the modeling of the house of camera. For now I have another problem. As you might have noticed some things in my game are not written in English. As you can hear, I'm not a native speaker. I come from Poland, so I write the dialogue and the storyline in Polish. When I translate things into English, I use some of my knowledge and some online translators. Because of this, many things probably sound artificial and not real. So, if I have the plot and dialogues ready, I will translate them in my own way into English and I will need the help of one of you. If you are a native speaker and you would like to help me create the game, I will need you in the future. So, stay tuned. For now, that's all. See you in the next devlog. Bye.